Hi, amazing viewers. Welcome to Christianity over Islam with Shashimon. And on today's episode, young Muslim boy was trying to convert his friend into Islam, but his friend later found out the truth about Islam and his prophet. Let's watch this amazing video. Where's your he friend? He said he was going to join. I Here. sent him the link. Oh, there he goes. All right. All right. So, okay. What's up? What's up? Your friend is here now. Yeah, how you doing, man? Yeah, just, okay. Now, I know one, uh, D'Angelo's 18. How old are you? Um, I'm 17. You guys are too young, man. Why do you want to discuss religion with me? Oh, <laughs> you, <wanna learn. laughs> you know, like, it's better to establish your faith early on in life, you know? Yeah, but then Muslims are going to say it's not fair. Your kids, and um, today it's actually I'm 51. I turned 51 today. They'll say that I'm being a bully debating with kids. Breeze, why don't you get that out of dude, Breeze? McGee, not you guys. I'm talking to some. I don't know who you are. You're a fake, like your mother's a fake, because the woman that raised you wasn't your mother. You're born of a female dog. Sorry, guys. We get distractions here. Yeah, but see, these Muslims are going to say, why are you picking on kids? Now, I'm not picking on kids, because one of you contacted me. I got you confused with someone else. There's two people that contacted me. Uh, one was Islam Defense, so I thought you were him. But anyway, so the 18-year-old, I'm just seeing if these guys are trolls, and I'll show their faces if they want to be shown. The 18-year-old says he's an agnostic. The other one is a Muslim, his friend. Okay, so now the 17-year-old Muslim, how long have you been practicing your faith? You can be born in a Muslim home, but that's you've been practicing your faith. Now, I keep hearing you typing. Tick, tick. No, I'm not typing. I'm not typing. Okay, yeah, no. um, yeah, I've been practicing since I was around, uh, I'd say, eight. That's like when your parents. Oh, yeah. Well, that's to... when they made you pray. But how much have you studied the Quran? Do you understand the Quran? Um, I'd say I'm still like learning a bit, but okay, so, uh, yeah, I, I feel bad. Yeah, I don't think it's going to be fair because the stuff I'm going to show about the Quran, I don't think you can answer. So, you sure you want to do yeah, this? Yeah, the thing is. Yeah, the thing is, I'm not I'm not here to discuss the Quran. I mean, I've been reading the Bible. I started with, like, Matthew. Yeah, well, you can't run from the Quran because the Quran confirms the Bible. So any attack in the Bible... No, I'm not. I'm not attacking the Bible. You I'm, know. I'm trying to let you know. Yeah, obviously. Yeah, obviously. If you know your Quran, you. Yeah. if you know your Quran, your Quran confirms the scriptures of the people of the book. Do you know this or you don't know this? I do know what you're talking about. You're talking about the verse that says... Um, no, there's more than one verse. Yeah, and the, and the verses that say uh, uh, what the people have. Yep. So if you're interested in the Bible, I'm glad you are. But the yeah, more you read the Bible, the more you're going to see that the Quran is false. Do you agree with that? Uh, yeah, I'll have to see because I'm, I'm on Matthew 12 currently. Okay, so in Matthew, if you went to Matthew 12, now backtrack and I want you to read Matthew 3.16. Matthew 3.16, okay. Okay, I'm gonna show, if you read it. You said you read Matthew. So let's see. I'm going to show yeah. you how Matthew shows that the Quran is false. So go to Matthew 3.16. So let's see. You have the Bible. Matthew 3.16. Okay. Read that for me. Uh, as soon as Jesus was baptized, he went out of the water. At that moment, heaven was open, and he saw the Spirit of God descending like a dove and enlightening him. And then 17 says what? Verse 17. Let me see. Uh, Full chapter. Have the entire, you can have the entire chapter open. I don't think that. Wait, it's okay. And a voice from heaven said, This is my son whom I love, and with him I am well pleased. So a voice from heaven said, This is my son whom I love, with whom I am well pleased. And this was when Jesus got baptized by John the Baptist, which your Quran calls Yahya, right? Yeah, yeah, Yahya. Yeah. So that's Matthew chapter 3. So you read that already, you said, because you're in Matthew yeah, 12. I'm right? on, yeah, I'm on Matthew 12 currently. Okay, but then did you read Matthew 1, 21 to 23? Matthew 1, 21. Oh, yeah, Matthew 1, 20. Okay, let me see. Read Matthew, 21, 23. Yeah, let me get to 21. So, okay. Matthew 1. Okay. Matthew 1, 21. It says, uh, she will give birth to a son, and you are to name him... G wait, this is a yes. The angel speaks. Joseph, yes, Mary. Wait, no, this is a this, is a, this translation. The, the it says Emmanuel, but this wait, no, no, twenty one doesn't say Emmanuel. It says, and you shall name him Jesus, and then Emmanuel comes in twenty two, twenty three. Read twenty one. Oh, okay, twenty one. Okay, she will give birth to a son, and you are to name him Jesus because he will save his people from their sins. He will do what? He will save people from their sins. So Jesus, the baby male born of the virgin, 
comes to say people run their sins. And then 22-23, what does it say? 22-23, uh, uh, all this took place to fulfill what the Lord has said through his prophet. Uh, the virgin will conceive, uh, will give birth to a son, and they will call him Emmanuel. Okay, so what does Emmanuel mean? You didn't read the translation. Yeah, the Emmanuel, Emmanuel means God is, God is with us. I know. God with us. Okay. So now yeah. Matthew 1, let's see if you're following. Jesus yeah. is Jesus because he saves people from their sins. Emmanuel, God with us. The Father says, this is my son whom I love. So I'm well pleased. But now go to Matthew 11, 27. Because you said so before we off. like before we do that, like I like I came up to like ask like a few questions like about. Oh, you Matthew can't ask me questions Matthew. when you haven't explained to me how you can still be a Muslim and you read this. Go to Matthew eleven twenty seven. The last in Matthew eleven twenty seven. Okay. Because I want to I want to ask you why are you still a Muslim? Because what you read shows the Quran is false. Matthew eleven okay. twenty. All things have been committed to me by my father, and no one knows the son except the father, and no one knows the father except the son, and those who the son chooses to reveal him. Okay, so you said you've read all the way to 12, but in Matthew eleven twenty seven, 27, Jesus says, All things have been given, delivered to me by my father. No one knows the son except the father. No one knows the father except the son, and to whom the son chooses to reveal him. So Jesus says, he is the son who alone can make God known. Stop tapping with your mic. It's going. Tuck, 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 tuck. Yeah, sorry, sorry, sorry. Stop doing that because you're distracting. We can't talk. And then God says, Jesus is my son whom I love. And the angel tells Joseph he'll be called Jesus because he saves people from their sins because he's God with us. All of which the Quran contradicts. The Quran does not believe Jesus came to save people from their sin. Doesn't believe he's the son of God. Doesn't believe he's God with us. So are you a Muslim? Um, yeah, I'm, cause I'm, I'm still like, you know, that's why I'm studying Christianity and whatnot. I'm, I'm, I'm at that but, phase where I'm trying to... But so far, yeah. Islam is false because the Quran says Allah is not a father, Jesus is not a son. But how is that an issue though? You mean how is it an issue when God says Jesus is my son, Jesus says he's the son, and the angel says that Jesus comes to save his people from their sins and he's God with us and that's not an issue? Are you, are you serious? Because at your age. Because the Quran says, if you say, Jesus, Son of God, Allah will fight you. Chapter 9, verse 30 of the Quran. I mean... But God not... said in the Bible, He is my Son, whom I love. I'm pleased with Him. And Jesus says, I am the Son, and all things have been given to me. And I alone can make God known, the Father known. And you're telling me, how is this an issue? Because the Quran says, Allah is not Jesus' Father. He's not a Father to anyone, which means that all of the Quran is a false God. How? Like, how does that quote? How does, how Allah does that quote? in the Quran is a false God because the true God said, Jesus is my son, but Allah says, Jesus is not my son. They can't be the yeah, same. Yeah, but then the New Testament is not a book from God. Now from we're going to go back to bury you because the Quran says that the New Testament is the word of God because that's what they had at the time of Muhammad. Ah, okay. see? Can you give me like the verse, please? Yes, go to chapter two of the Quran. See, that's I knew. I knew you're going to go the route. It's corrupt. No, your Quran is corrupt. That's okay. why you have to say. Okay, Quran two Verses 40 to 44. Because I'm going to ask you some questions 44. to see if you know history. Let's see how well you know history. Okay. All right. Chapter 2, verses 40 to 44 of the Quran. Okay. O children of Israel, remember my favors upon Read you. Fulfill... Okay. We can hear you. Okay. O children of Israel, remember my favors upon yeah, you. Slowly, fulfill your covenant. Slowly. Slowly. Okay. Don't o rush. O children of Israel, you, remember my favors upon you. Fulfill your covenant, and I will fulfill mine. And you stand in awe of me alone. Remember in my revelations, which you, which slowly. which confirm your scriptures. Wait, slowly. You want me to get you out of here? Believe in my revelations, yeah. which confirm. Your okay, shut up. You're barking like a dog. You want me to get your friend out of here? Because he's not being a punk because he's reading too fast. You're just sitting there trying to look pretty. You're not going to get married <laughs> by looking in the camera. So should I now embarrass this punk because he's reading too fast? Now, little punk, read slowly. Or I'm going to punish Muhammad. I don't know why you're insulting. Shut up and read 41. Shh. I'm old enough to be your dad. Read 41 slowly before I send you to Mecca. Bro, you, you sent a voice message saying... <laughs> we're, we're Shut up. Listen. I'm going to beat you like a redheaded stepchild. I'm going to embarrass Muhammad in front of your friend. See, he's laughing. I'm going to show the, your friend that Muhammad raped women, molested married women, and children if you don't shut up and read the verse. Read the verse. I'm going to give you one more chance. Read verse 41. Bro, like, I don't know. Shh, you're barking again, little boy. Remember, I'm going to bring the belt and whip you. 
At least that's better than what Muhammad did to Aisha, a 54-year-old pervert who mounted a nine-year-old and molested her. Does your friend know this? You want me to show him from the Quran where your prophet said you can rape married women? So if you jihadis attacked his village, you could rape his mother, this guy's mother, according to your Quran. I'm going to give you one more chance to read 41. Read 41. Read How do 41. you feel? You're barking like Muhammad again. One more time. Read 41. Buddy, you know your friend is uh, scared, right? Because he sees that his prophet is a bastard. You can't. Well, listen, you don't need to hide your face because we can see your hair. So <laughs> we're going to give him one more chance. Did he tell you that in the Quran, Muslims can rape captive women, even who are married? Chapter 4, verse 24. Like, if they were to attack your city and they took your mom, they can rape her? Did he tell you that? I haven't heard of yeah, that. that. That's chapter 4, verse 24. Did he tell you that his prophet was a pervert who at the age of 54 slept with a nine-year-old? Mounted her? Yeah, I, don't, I don't really know that much about the Quran that much. But he didn't tell you this stuff. But he's going to tell you about the Bible. He doesn't tell you how filthy his prophet is, right? So I'm going to give you one more chance, little kid. Don't be a punk because I'm going to spank you like a redheaded stepchild. So you want to laugh, you know that. Okay. Try it again. Read 41. It's to meet a virgin who is not married. Read 41. Married and read 41. Read See? Now he's, he's barking like a dog. So how long have you known this dog? Do you take him out for walks? Do you put him on a leash? Or does he walk himself? I don't know. Does he walk himself or do you walk him? He walks me. Oh, so you admit he's a dog that walks himself. See? I like you. I said, I do does he walk himself? You walk him. He said, no, he walks himself. So you, at least you admit he's a dog. No, I now, said so he walks me. Huh? He walks me. I can't hear you. I said he walks me. Oh, and he walks you. So you're his female dog? You're his little slut? <laughs> yeah, he teaches me a lot. Oh, so what? Are you gay? Are you guys lovers? What are you talking about? You're 18, dude. You know it's haram to be gay. Don't let this guy treat you like one of the youth. I didn't mean it like that. Okay, because you said he walks you. No, you walk him. Okay, now. One more time, little girl, or I'm going to send you out of here. And I'm going to talk to your friend and show him how filthy your crown is. Read 41. Read 41. Okay, let me let me pull up the verse real quick. I'm sorry. Let me pull it up. Now he's behaving himself because he knows I'm going to send him out of here because I'm going to show you how filthy mom is. He's scared. Read 41 slowly. Okay. So 41. It says believe. Okay, 40, right? 41. Okay. Believe in my revelations, but all the women and children. Yep. See, there you go. So now I sent your little whore friend back to his doghouse. So do you want me to show you why Muhammad is a filthy bastard or do you want to leave too? I'll stay. Okay, good. See, that's what happened, you little punk bastard. I know you think Muhammad, that the Bible's like Muhammad who raped women. See, he didn't want to read. Stick around because I'm going to show you how filthy Muhammad is. You ready? This is the place where this video get more interesting. If you haven't subscribed to our channel, please do it to subscribe. Are you ready, young man? Yeah. I want to show you that his God said his prophet can rape women, okay, who are even married. So watch here. You ready, buddy? So be careful. Don't follow this guy because this guy is going to get you in trouble because if you become a jihadi, you'll go to Tal Afghanistan and start raping women and even children. You don't want to do that, do you? No. So you don't want to be a filthy pedophile and rapist like Muhammad, right? No. There you go. Okay. Chapter 4, verse 24. There you go. Thank you, buddy. Now I got your friend all to myself. I'm going to show him how filthy your prophet is on Muhammad. Glory to Jesus Christ. Are you still here? Yeah. You said oh, chapter 4, verse 24. Yeah, I'm going to read it for you. I had it on the screen. So what happened? Why would you hate your face? We already saw what you looked like, and we saw your hair. Okay, oh, I'm on my phone, so when I go off the app, then it... Okay, you don't need to. I'm going to put it on the screen for you. You don't need to go off. All right, chapter 4, verse 24. It's not about people you can't have sex with. Also forbidden are women already married, except those captives and slaves whom your right hands possess. You know what that means? Who you own. It means that you cannot have sex with a married woman unless she's a slave or captive. I want you to understand because I'm going to go slow with this. You understand what that means, right? If a person were to take your mother captive, even though your dad is alive, he can then rape her. So you cannot have sex with a married woman unless she is a woman you've taken captive or she's your slave. Now, let me give you the hadith. You ready? Yeah. All right, here you go. Sunan Abu Dawood. And here it is. I'm going to share it with you in private chat. So you look at private chat. There's a link. This is from a Muslim website, so you don't think I'm making it up. And I'm going to put it on the screen. You don't need to click now. You don't need to click now. You just click later. Okay, so you don't lose this. Okay. Now here's 
Here it is. I'm going to now read it for you. Ready? This is what Muhammad did. You ready? So I want to know if you want to follow this pedophile, woman prostituting, woman raping, filth. Here it is. Abu Sayyid al-Khudri, the apostle of Allah, sent a military expedition to Autas on the occasion of the Battle of Hunayn. They met their enemy and fought with them. They defeated them and took them captives. See, they took them captives. They took women captives. Okay. Some of the companions of the Apostle of Allah were reluctant to have intercourse with the female captives. See, they, didn't, they were ashamed. They didn't want to have sex with female captives. Why? In the presence of their husbands who were unbelievers. So why did they want to have sex with them? Because their husbands were there, right? But notice what Muhammad's God says. So Allah, the exalted, set down the Quranic verse, and all married women are forbidden unto you, save those captives whom your right hands possess. That is to say, they are lawful to them when they complete their waiting period. No, you can have sex with them. Just make sure they're not pregnant. And this is called a sahih, meaning sound narration. So according to Muslims, this is an authentic narration telling you why this verse was given. So I want to ask you a question. And be honest, if the Muslim jihadis attacked your village or your city, don't tell me where you live, and they took your mother, your sister, your grandmother, and they took your dad <clears throat> captive, they can then have sex with your mother and your grandmother and your sister and then sell them off. Would you be okay with that? No. You sure? No, that's gross. So why, why is this guy your friend? Because this pervert believes in this filthy religion. That scum little kid, he's a potential jihadi. If he follows his religion, one day he can be a murderer and go around beheading people and killing people. And if he takes him captive, raping women. So why are you his friend? I don't know. I've known him for a long time. Yes. Well, right now he's living in America. Just pray he doesn't become a fanatical jihadi because if he does, he'll either go to Afghanistan or Syria, start beheading people, taking women and children captive and raping them. If not, <clears throat> doing it here, just losing it and then going around trying to kill people. He's dangerous until he becomes a Christian. I'm not, I'm not joking with you because this is what Muslims are doing. You have people in Europe right now where you have Muslim gangs raping european women in europe when they migrate gang rape they go and find women and rape them because they think they're entitled to it because this is what the religion teaches but now i want to ask you a question this is muhammad his prophet muhammad his prophet said his god said hey my guys these women you took captive they're married you can rape them and sell them you sure you want to follow this man and follow his god i don't know because then you're going to be a rapist like him. Is that what you want to be, a rapist? No. Okay, so now, not only that, let me show you how old Aisha was when he married her. Okay? Because this is why this low life is not going to tell you that. And I'm going to show you Muhammad also treated women as prostitutes, as whores. Let me give you another reference to this. You ready? Why yeah. this was sent down. Are you ready? Here, I'm going to give it to you. It's from my article. Here's my article. You can click on it later. These are Muslim sources. These are not Christian sources. That's why the young punk didn't want to read because he knew he was going to get embarrassed. And he ran. Now, I hope that young punk listens and he wakes up and sees how filthy Muhammad is. And the Lord Jesus can convict him because he can turn to Jesus and be forgiven and he'll be a decent human being. But if he remains a devout Muslim, he's going to be a dangerous jihadi who will one day murder people and rape them. May the Lord Jesus stop him from doing that and protect our women. This is my article I send in you in private chat, but let me give you the quote that comes from this. This is a Muslim source, and I'm going to show you what Muhammad did, all right? Yeah. So you grew up in a Christian home, meaning your, your family is Hispanic, they're Catholic. Go back and study your Catholic faith. Go to learn who Jesus is, not this filthy Muhammad. This comes from Jalal, <clears throat> Jalal Din al Suyuti. These are their Muslim scholars, and he won't know that. He's a kid. Reasons and occasions of revelation of the Holy Quran. Lubab and Nukul fi Azbab al Nuzul, translated by Dr. Muhammad Mahdi al Sharif, Dar al Qutub al Ilmiya, Beirut, pages 101 102. Listen. Okay, watch what Muhammad and his followers did. This is what they'll do to your mother, your sister, your grandmother if they attack and win. Here it is.
right here. Let me show it to you on the screen. It is narrated on the authority of Ibn Abbas. Ibn Abbas is supposedly Muhammad's first cousin. That he said, when it was the day of Hunayn, and Allah Almighty helped the Muslims conquer Hunayn, the Muslims got female captives from the people of the scripture, meaning they took female captives from Jews and Christians. If a man liked to have sexual intercourse with any woman of them, whom his right hand possessed, she would say to him, I have a husband, I'm married. The Messenger of Allah was asked about that. Thereupon, Allah revealed this Quranic verse, Tabarani. You know what that means? She goes, look, I'm married. But then Muhammad said, hey, my God said it's okay. It doesn't matter. She's married. Go ahead and rape her and sell her. So I want to hear it from you again. If the Muslims attack your place, is your mom still married to your dad? Yeah. Are you okay if Muhammad was living at your time and he took your family captive? And then he says to the jihad, he says, hey, take this guy's mother, who cares her husband's alive, have sex with her and sell her off. Yeah, no. But when you even think about following this religion, what you're doing is you're spitting on all those hundreds of thousands of Jewish women, Christian women, and women of other faiths who were raped by Muslim men for the last 1,400 years. Raped by them and sold off. That's what you're doing. You're spitting on their uh, their blood and on them when you follow this man. Some of your ancestors were raped by Muslims because the Muslims also conquered Spain. And you want to follow this filth who's burning in hell under the feet of the Lord Jesus Christ? Let me show you how filthy Muhammad was. So thank your friend for running because he's a coward because he can't defend us. Here it is. Aisha was not. You ready? I'm going to get sent you a link. All right. Here it is. This comes from <clears throat> Sunan Nasai. Yeah, I'm going to put it in the private chat, and you can come and watch this later. These are Muslim sources. This is a Muslim website. How old was Aisha when Muhammad married her? And what was she doing when he took her into his bed and mounted her? A 54-year-old man having sex and penetrating a 9-year-old. Here you go. Let me show it to you. Now you're going to see what the grading is. It's sahih. The word sahih, ask your friend if he's not stupid or he's not a liar. Sahih means sound. This is authentic. Okay, here it is. I'm putting it on the screen. Great sahih. Darus Salam, Sunan Nasai, Volume 4, Book 26, Hadith 3380. Okay, now this is from the online. So now watch. How old was she? Let's see what the chapter is. Look at the chapter. Look at this chapter. The chapter, if you'll see, you click on it, so you'll see it. I'm not lying. I gave you the link. You see it? And come back nine. on screen. You saw it? Yeah, she was nine. You clicked on it, right? Yeah. And am I lying? It took you there, right? Yeah. Am I lying? No. Okay. Chapter 78, consummation of marriage with a girl of nine. That means you can have sex with a nine-year-old. And who's the example? Here you go. So tell your 17-year-old friend, are you okay with your filthy prophet having sex with a nine-year-old? Here it is. It was narrated that Aisha said, the messenger of Allah married me when I was six and consummated the marriage with me when I was nine and I used to play with dolls. I want you to tell everyone, are you okay with a man who was 51 years old asking your father to marry this girl when she was six and then when he was 54, taking her to bed, consummating, having sex with her when she was nine and she was playing with dolls. You okay with that? No. So why is your filthy friend okay with this? Because he's still a Muslim. Does he have no shame? Now, I don't want to know your family. Does you know what to tell me? Do you have a younger sister? Yeah. How old is she? 14. Would you be okay with a 54 year man having sex with your 14-year-old sister? No. So are you okay with what you're reading? Muhammad, his prophet, this is his prophet. The one he says, oh, he's a prophet like Jesus. A 54-year-old pervert having sex with a nine-year-old playing with dolls? No, that's gross. So why is your friend still a Muslim? And why was he a coward barking and running like a little girl? Oh, because he wants to be like Aisha, playing with dolls. Okay, let me give you some more hadith. Yeah, it's true, brother. Hey, I'm telling I'm not going to lie. That's why I keep watching my sessions read my articles you're going to see how filthy this religion is right now here you go here's another one you ready yeah all right this is sahih muslim you can click on it to see here it is i'm gonna give you the link 
This is Sahih. Passing with Sahih means sound. Click on it so you see I didn't lie. For those of you, here it is. All right. So now let me read it for you. Sahih Muslim. Watch here so everyone sees, sees it. You saw it, right? That I'm not lying. It's there in front of your eyes. Yeah. Everything I'm giving you, I'm proving, right? Sahih Muslim, Book 8, Hadith 3311. Now watch what happens. Watch here. How old was she? There you go. Aisha reported that Allah's apostle married her when she was seven years old because she was between six and seven. And he was taken or she was taken to his house as a bride when she was nine and her dolls were with her. A young girl of nine playing with dolls taken by hand by a grown man 54 you know 51 that means he was old enough to be your grandfather okay i'm 51 today's my birthday so happy birthday to me and happy you're birthday. my gift you're my gift you know why because no greater gift than the lord jesus christ who loves you and died for you to use me to sh show you stay away from muhammad you need jesus because jesus is in love with you so this is a thank you lord for this birthday gift save this man Shame and rebuke that 70 year old dog to repent so that he can come and worship you, Lord Jesus. Anyway, now, right here, can you imagine? I, a 54, 51, I'm not even 54. You see me holding the hand of a nine year old. And if I tell you, oh, I'm taking her to my house because I'm going to have sex with her, she's my wife. Let me, let's look at pictures for nine year olds. Let's see how what they look like. Let's look. So you can imagine this. That means Muhammad was old enough to be her grandfather. Right? Yeah. Okay, let's see. This is his prophet. How come he didn't tell you this garbage? Why didn't he want to tell you? Because he's embarrassed. Okay, here. We're gonna I'm gonna go to Google, see photos of nine-year-olds, what do nine-year-olds look like? So you can see, imagine. Okay. Nine-year-old girls. Let's see. Okay, let's see. Here it is. This is it. Here, let me put it on the screen. This is a photo from Google. Can you imagine me taking this girl by her hand and then taking her clothes off and having sex with her? No, that's gross. But that's what Muhammad did. Okay, let me show you another one. Picture of another one. How about this one? That's a nine-year-old from Google. I put in nine-year-old girls. This is how old Aisha was when Muhammad at 54 had sex with her. A grown man naked takes a young girl who's naked playing with dolls and then he has sex with her. This is his prophet. You see that scum friend of yours, that coward? This is who he follows. You okay with this? Mm -mm. Okay. One more picture. You ready? Let's see. Let me show you some pictures so you don't think I'm lying. Nine-year-old. 54-year-old man. Disgusting. Disgusting. Right? How about this one? She's nine. Okay. This is whom he wants you to follow. You see why I had to rebuke your friend? Because he's a filthy... Scum low life at 17. He's a scum low life. Now I pray he repents. Your friend can ask Jesus to forgive him, say, Lord Jesus, I'm sorry, and leave Muhammad, then he'll be a human being. But as long as he's a Muslim, he's a danger. He's cancer to society. Welcome back. Hope you've learned from this amazing video. Please do it to like, subscribe to our channel, and hit up the notification button so that each time we drop our new videos, you'll be notified. As you can see in this video, this young Muslim boy was trying to convert his Christian friends into Islam. After which, this Muslim boy was discussing with Sam about the Islam. And Sam had to show him so many proof that has been written in the Islam about Allah. Which this guy claimed to say to this young boy that Jesus is not the son of God. That why would the Bible say it? that God has found his only begotten son in the book of Matthew. But it was written in the Quran that Allah is one, that let no man worship any other God except him. And so I'm to make this young boy understand that this Quran will not reveal the truth that have been hidden inside, inside 
the Quran. And so I'm about to review some things that have been written in the Quran, which it was which Sam started by showing him that the prophet that this young Muslim guy is serving raped women that raped women and even sleep with little children as per his own self-will to to please himself. And Sam gives so many proof about the Quran when the Quran said that it is allowed for is allowed for a man to beat up his wife and molest his wife as he wished. And some showed him little girls that it is written in the Quran that let men be having sex with or even get married with in the Quran. And this young guy found out this truth about Islam and he said his friend never told him the truth. And, he, and some told him the friend will never tell you this truth because even him finding out the truth he had to end up the call in in the debate at the end of this video this muslim guy refused to follow or to choose that is the main muslim guy refused to follow or to choose jesus or rather he end up the call and left the debate hope you've learned from this amazing video please do it to like subscribe to our youtube channel and share to your loved ones especially your, your young christian friends that are trying to convert into islam but they haven't found out this truth about the prophet in the islam thanks for watching this video please do it to like subscribe to our youtube channels hit up the notification button so that each time we drop our new videos you'll be notified